Is Nirvana guaranteed? Especially all of you who signed on as members of this Buddhist society. Should we put a clause in the bottom of your membership form that if you don't become enlightened uh, that you get your membership back? <laughs> And it's a great little title because it also indicates some of the attitudes which people have in our modern world. And that's an attitude which even goes uh, on to religious pursuits or the spiritual life. You say, well if I'm going to commit to this life I want something out of it. And when you start thinking of that sort of attitude, that's going completely against you know, what spiritual life is supposed to be about. And it reminds me of a very, very famous and very powerful saying of my teacher Ajahn Chah who once said, sort of, you don't meditate or you don't practice to get something. You meditate, you practice to get rid of things. To let go, not to attain. And I always remember that saying because that's probably the essence of a spiritual life. It's not to attain more things, not to get things but to actually to let go of things, to abandon things, to be more free from those possessions which usually dominate us.